Liberty Nation with Tim Donner. And now we welcome you to the portion of Liberty Nation Radio, which we entitle Talkin' Liberty. It is self-explanatory, of course, as is our regular contributor, constitutional lawyer and LibertyNation.com legal affairs editor, or as I like to call him, our guardian of liberty, guardian of individual Liberty Scott Cosenza. Hello, Scott. I love that title, Tim. Hello. Thank you. I keep adding on gratuitous <laughs> it's, things it's, to your it title. Makes, it makes me feel so nice. To a title that's already too long to no, no. encompass uh, within the frame of an entire segment of a radio show. But let's jump right in because this is really big stuff. We've been talking about for months, if not years, the problem with the federal law on marijuana and various state laws, which are not in conformity with each other. And now a key committee in Congress has approved a marijuana legalization bill. Take it from there. I find it endlessly fascinating, Tim, because in my lifetime, uh, as a sort of aware, policy aware person, I've seen marijuana go from being completely prohibited in all 50 states to uh, this, and, and not just prohibited, but in a way that was. Uh, ever forceful and present, the raids, the arrests, the filling of the jails, and the terror in the hearts of the people who wanted to use marijuana. And now it's it's in such in full retreat. We have, Tim, for the first time, uh, a major step in federal legislation. We have had the, the coal memo, uh, which has previously allowed uh, people to use and sell marijuana at the state level without uh, suffering from federal prosecution, uh, if if they were lucky, and the, and and that memo was stayed in force, and we've had some back and forth. We've dis- discussed on this show about that, but now we have the Congress moving in a big way. Tim, the first major uh, passage out of committee of federal marijuana decriminalization across the board, and also retroactively. Uh, uh, basically removing the convictions and some of the penalties from those convictions. Let me just step in for a second and ask you here the distinction between decriminalization and legalization. Which one is this and which one is this not? Well, it's uh, partly decriminalization and partly legalization, I think, is the answer. You sound like a politician. Well, (laughs) sad to say. Well, politicians are the ones who wrote it. Of course. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, perfect. The... uh, So typically, I think when people say uh, decriminalization, they just mean removal of the criminal prohibitions. And so those people like I am, Tim, a libertarian, don't want to see large uh, uh, sort of regimes of regulation. And and for instance, in the Marijuana Opportunity and Reinvestment and Expungement Act that we're talking about that passed the uh, through the Judiciary Committee, there are like small business administration loans that are opened up. There's a couple funds that are like they tax marijuana at 5% for certain products to fund like the community, you know, fund. that's the kind of stuff where it's like, no, 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 just take away the prohibitions and then let people be free to do what they wish. So the decriminalization is the removing from marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act. That's what this does. And that's what will allow it to then, you know, be penalty-free from a federal law perspective. So how far down the road are we based on this? And, okay, based on this, what 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 appear to be the chances that this would pass the House and then pass muster in the Senate? Um, and how much, how far down the road does this take it to reconciling federal law with state law? Uh, if passed in its current form, I think the answer to your second question is fully rec- reconciled. States will be able to, to, to have their distribution grow, distribution sales uh, rubric and, and, and be in compliance with federal law, which, again, you know, Tim, we have to pause and remind everybody that every single marijuana store that's operating in America where marijuana is quote unquote legal is in fact operating in violation of federal law. Every farm, every grow up, every person who goes and buys and consumes one joint is doing so in violation of federal law, which is why it's so important, given the fact that the, the people have voted, they want the weed. We need to, to change the federal law um, to the first question, which is sort of how far down, you know, uh, is this going to happen, I guess, was the question. Right. Um, this is a, a, a bipartisan supported legislation, Tim, but but more heavily supported on the Democrat side. 
and more lightly supported on the Republican side. So I could see it getting through the House. It got through this committee. Um, whether it is able to get through uh, the Senate is uh, a question I don't uh, really I don't have a crystal ball for that one. That'll put the, the Senate on the spot. Because if you have bipartisan passage in the House, there's pressure for the same thing in the Senate. And all you'd need to get on top of 47 Democrats would be what? You'd need four uh, Republicans and you'd need no veto from the president. Yeah. So he has been uh, generally uh, libertarian. About ish. Well, libertarian we, <laughs> ish. ish. I mean, on the if you had to say the scale, he leans more that direction. It seems think, so. But I think he doesn't care. The, the, the sense I get from Trump is that this is not an issue for him. It seems like a populist yeah. uh, yeah. response to me. He, mm-hmm. he will go where the people seem to be, I think. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. This program, Liberty Nation Radio and LibertyNation.com's own podcast, The Uprising, hosted by Scott and Politics and Prose otherwise known as The Rabbit Hole, where past is prologue. All of them available for you on demand at LibertyNation.com. So that is it for this week, but we will be back at you next week, same time, same station. In the meantime, a happy and blessed Thanksgiving to you. Remember to stand up for liberty, especially at the Thanksgiving table. This is Tim Donner. See you next time.